Hey, what's up? I'm back. This is my third way in getting ready for nationals. Um, so it's been an interesting week. There was a lot of travel involved, uh, the moon blocking out the sun for the total eclipse, and I uh, just couldn't miss that. So it was a great chance to go up and see uh, my family and watch that event. Uh, but of course, as you know, traveling, it can be a little difficult to hit your macros. So to prepare for that, uh, what I did was I had a fanny pack that I brought with me to the airport that was full of beef jerky and whey protein and protein bars. So it was like my, my protein sack. Um, but having something like that is really useful because when you're at an airport uh, or whenever you're out with friends and family, the one thing that's gonna be missing from your macros for the most part is gonna be protein. Fats and carbs are everywhere, super easy to come by. Uh, but just having that source with you is gonna do so much to help you prepare uh, for a successful week of tracking. Um, so that being said, um, two days wait on my two days late on my way in um, because when I got back, there was a lot of fluid retention from flight, and a lot of people that can happen when you go from um, you know the, the pressurizations of an airplane back to ground level regular atmospheric conditions. Um, so anyway, I gave it a couple days to let that water weight drop off, and I was down uh, right at one pound and a few more percentages of body fat. Now, granted that it's been, let's see, if I'm two days late, that's nine days since my last check-in, it's probably not going to be enough progress for the moderate fat loss. So unfortunately, I'm pretty sure that my macros are about to go down some. Um, it's just part of the process, but it's all good. Um, and as a result, I'm probably going to be using high and low days. So that way I have more macros on my more intense training days uh, and lower macros on my rest days when I don't really need them as much. But fortunately, training has been going extremely well. Uh, hitting PRs in the gym uh, for, for my doubles on bench squat and deadlift. Uh, so that's really cool. Form's looking better. Uh, technique is really zeroing in. But let's go ahead and log the weigh in. Okay, so we are now in my profile. As you can see, it's telling me to weigh in now. Um, so let's go ahead and plug in the numbers. My body weight was 183.8. So it's down exactly one pound. And my body fat was down to 8.7%. I was compliant uh, and I would like higher carbs and fats on certain days. So I'm gonna add my check-in and my training days for this upcoming week are uh, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. I'm off Monday, Tuesday, and then I'm off Wednesday. So you can see that my macros did go down by about 100 calories, uh, so it's before the adjustments. And I'll have 295 carbs and 69 fat on my training days. And then on rest days, it's 64 carbs and 225, I mean 64 fat and 225 carbs. Um, I could adjust the magnitude of change, but I kind of like it where it is right here. So we're gonna stick with that. Um, and I will submit this. Oh, and, that, and that's the pop-up because we made those changes to the way that uh, protein is calculated for different individuals. So, um, yeah, that's a little explanation saying it. So that was kind of fun. Um, I know a lot of people are like, well, what, what's happening? Why are my numbers a little different? But we're keeping up with the research. But let's go ahead and do it, and I'll see you all back in one week.